So the first thing you want to do is just sell these two ropes. Those are just going to prevent you from moving, you know, unless you just want to hang out here and build stuff. So then we're going to click on these two rear thrusters and just do a um, shift click them and then do a control one. That makes control root one. So then grab these top thrusters, same deal, control two, bottom thrusters, control three. And you can also like zoom in if you need to get closer to make sure you're clicking on the right thing with the scroll wheel. So once we have those, you can just click like flip between them like one, two, three, and then push E and it'll just fire them. You don't have to aim them. So then it just becomes really easy to move around like this and you can speed up, slow down. So like if you want to slow down, you just grab some of these top and bottom ones because they're sort of pointed forward as well as up and down they'll slow you down whereas these ones in the back will just speed you up so sometimes you need, you need to slow down or you need to go up and down like to get around this uh, cog thing so then onto the weapons on the front we got these rockets make that control group four that's like our main form of attack and i also just hit uh u on those so upgrade all those that makes them a lot better. You just leave them like the default, like these guys that are they're shooting at me right now. You know, it's kind of like doesn't do too much damage, but it does take a while to upgrade them. So it's pretty balanced. Um, next up are these heavy flax. I usually don't hotkey those. Those are just anti-aircraft. There's also this fog launcher thing that just fired a few of those on here. So those just kind of defend you from all the shit the enemy is going to be shooting at you which is good um on back we can make like control group five this is a grenade launcher it's pretty powerful it shoots anything above you and then as far as shooting stuff below you there is this um warhead launcher which is close range really powerful warhead but it's easy to shoot down so that's a good one and then we have I'll make control group seven. I'll show you how this one works. Little plane silo here fires a fighter aircraft that just comes in and just really peppers them and eventually just like blows up. So took out one of their weapons, so it's pretty decent. So yeah, those are all of the weapons before we move in to like destroy the enemy and all that little bit about um, why some people hate this map or can't figure it out is just the fact that it's not actually like a zero gravity map it's actually just kept your ships kept afloat or the zeppelins kept up just by uh, balance between you know lift and ballast so like these seven anti-gravity reactors are what's pulling it up so if you lose one of those, the ship will start going down. And then there's, these barrels are like the heaviest thing, but there's also like these heavy sandbags, weapons and stuff are heavy, steel's heavy, you get the idea. So generally what you need to do, like say I want to build a bunch more weapons to add onto the ship, like you add this atom cannon or whatever. What you gotta do at first is just like sell a few sandbags make things lighter and so the ship would start to naturally like pull up after we've done that so now we'll just add a little bit more weight and we'll pretty much be you know back back to where we started which is what we want so I'll just add, add in a couple weapons and uh, you know generally so you get hit by like a big old rocket barrage and you lose a bunch of your ship well you can add another barrel real quick or you can what's usually the best thing to do is just grab a bunch of these and pull out if you need to get heavier see how the ship starts to go down so that's easy way to get heavier and then you can always just click on like a node click delete and it'll delete a bunch of shit so that that's a, how you can get lighter quickly so you just got to kind of get good at reacting quickly selling you can also just click on any like these barrels or whatever just push delete 
So that'll, once you get the hang of kind of controlling your weight and just uh, spamming these thrusters to move around, then you can like kind of start to play and do more fun stuff like for example we could sell like some of these barrels it's ships gonna get a lot lighter so it's gonna start lifting up and then we know like because of that we could just like hook onto this rock and let let the ship pull up and we can just hang out here and like casually fire the weapons without worrying about stuff maybe sell it sell like one more Oh, we're kind of pulling in, so I'll fire this thruster. This is a bit tricky, but yeah. Now we just like put some more ropes. Sold sold a few barrels, so we're like pretty pretty light. So it wants to pull up on these ropes, and then you can just kind of like hang out there. But probably just like put them back in and go do stuff. Ah, the thruster's hitting that, that weapon we added, which is fucking hilarious. Anyways, yeah. We just sell, sell this off so we can go up. So that'll make things pretty light. We just need to, like, back up now. Fire some of these ones. Oh, man. I'm in trouble here. There we go. So now, like, we can hit them with the grenade launcher because they're above us. And, um. I think we're getting pretty light. Add a little bit of weight, and then we hit them with these rockets right here. Just gotta be careful when you open the doors so nothing else comes in. I'll also use this uh, warhead pretty soon. Oh man, I keep returning to home position by accident. Sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just playing against computer players right now, which you can always do that just to practice or screw around. So they defend pretty well, but then once kind of break them free their ropes they just get wasted just come in and finish this guy off with the rockets I don't think I fired the uh, fight fighter jet yet so a little fighter jet comes out oh, coming back with the grenade launcher So we're just coasting in casually for the finishing kill here. Except for the bad aim. He also kind of like put, if I put a little bit of weight on the back, it'll tilt up and then this orange one can hit a lot better angle. Hit right on that anti-grab reactor. Just took it out. Hopefully you guys get out there, play some four on four matches. That's like really fun, just a lot of shit going on and enjoy.